let's take a look at the capabilities and benefits of jitter analysis, an optional feature on our next generation Infinium EXR, MXR, and UXR series oscilloscopes. This one option combines three previously separate features into one affordable package, so let's take a look. EasyJIT was the first iteration of our comprehensive jitter analysis software, and it's located under Analyze, Measurement Analysis. You may be asking, why isn't this a jitter-related menu? And that's because while this was initially developed for analyzing jitter, intrepid users such as yourself discovered the usefulness of looking at the histogram, trend, and spectrum of any measurement, not just ones related to jitter. For this example, we're looking at a clock, so let's add a clock-focused time interval error measurement to analyze. Enabling the histogram shows us a bimodal distribution of this measurement, and enabling the trend would confirm our suspicion a predominantly sinusoidal jitter profile on this clock. We can use the spectrum feature to easily visualize the frequency content of the trend, particularly useful when the trend is more complex than this simple example. In this example, a frequency modulated burst can be effectively demodulated by trending a frequency measurement on the screen, showing the linear ramp of frequency across the burst. Measurement histograms, trends, and spectrums can be set up manually without purchasing this jitter analysis option, but it isn't quite as convenient. That being said, the real value of this option lies with the EasyJIT Plus and EasyJIT Complete features, as well as the phase noise analysis included in the package. EasyJIT Plus was designed for random jitter and deterministic jitter analysis and other jitter decomposition measurements. EasyJIT Complete was an add-on that included decomposition of vertical noise as well. The two combined give you a complete statistical analysis of your signal. Both of these tools are located in the same place under Analyze, Jitter Slash Noise. There is a setup wizard and a quick setup, the latter of which sets up clock recovery methods and thresholds, as well as enabling some fundamental timing jitter plots and measurements. EasyJIT Complete comes with a feature that measures phase noise in a clock source. It can use the two-channel cross-correlation technique that lowers the oscilloscope's phase noise measurement floor by splitting the clock source signal into two oscilloscope input channels. The wizard is definitely recommended here, walking you through the process in a simplified, step-by-step -step fashion. Decomposing jitter and noise into subcomponents not only provides useful diagnostic information about your signal, but it also provides a method to estimate total jitter and total interference at bit error rate levels that would simply be too low to measure directly. So view your oscilloscope's built-in help to learn more. Or if you don't own an Infinium oscilloscope yet, you can check out the online help under the technical support area for your product of interest. Finally, make sure to check out the rest of the series highlighting the new capabilities in our next generation platforms linked in the description below.